I say good evening, Dr. Gooden, Dr. Roach, Mr. DiBello, and Board of Directors and Community. As the principal of Evans Elementary, I'm very proud to present to you tonight the Random Act of Kindness and the Leadership Club students. First, I want to acknowledge the club advisor, Mrs. Stephanie Cooper, and the students for going above and beyond in creating these outstanding groups. Too often, we in education are focused on testing results and lose sight of what learning and living are all about. It is not about a score or a number, but how we live our lives with the skills we have learned through our education and exposure to life, creativity, problem solving, teamwork, and empathy for others. Mrs. Cooper and her group of students have added kindness and service to their school day and to the lives of all of the Evans community. I am pleased to introduce Mrs. Stephanie Cooper and the students of the Evans Rack and Leadership Club who are our future leaders. Each student has a part in this presentation. So with the first slide. Uh, hi, my name is Shannon Rooney and yeah. Mrs. Cooper told her, uh, took her oldest two daughters to visit colleges in the summer of 2017. A tour guide at the University of South Carolina spoke about clubs and talked about a random act of kindness club on campus. Mrs. Cooper thought this would be a good start at Evans. Hi, my name is Logan. And my name is Kaylee Smith. Can she get up? There you go. Last fall, Mrs. Cooper talked with fourth graders about the club. 45 students committed to giving up good choice time to spread kindness in our school community. These students worked in groups to compose a mission statement that we will use for our clubs. Hi, my name is Katie. The Random Acts of Kindness Club is dedicated to making Evans Elementary School a kinder community one small act at a time. Kindness is contagious and kind is the new cool. Be cool, spread kindness. Hi, my name is Mary Grace Folk. This year, our club has grown to about 65 students. We continued many of last year's rack club ideas, and we have started some new ideas. Hi, my name is Sam. For our leadership group, Mrs. Cooper teaches us leadership skills using the book, The A to Z of Being the Best Leader You Can Be. We had a fun time writing similes to compare dependability with other things like a clock, fingers, and Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Bren. At our leadership and service group meetings, we learn about the skills needed to be a great leader. At one meeting, we learned how to be recess activators. We learned and practiced a game called Adams. Once, mo once Mother Nature cooperates, we will teach this game to students in younger grades at recess and play it with them. We will learn more games to teach them as the weather gets nicer. We hope that they will continue to play these games even when we are not outside with them. Hi, my name is Emma. Several members of our RAC club work during recess time and good choice time to make seeds of kindness to give to each student in our school. These seed hearts are made from recycled paper made into a pulp and wildflower seeds. Some of our members even made some at home. Hi, my name is Dominic. When we hand the seeds out to the students, we will first read the kindness seed by Linda Appleby to each class. We will then give each child a seed heart. Mrs. Cooper ha have provided the teachers with an activity they can use as a follow-up to this story. Hi, my name is Mary-Kate Fabrizio. We have a seed heart for each of you to take home. We also brought each of you a warm fuzzy. These, these warm fuzzies were handed out last year to all of the students after they listened to this story. 
Many years ago, on a little island, lived a bunch of happy people. They loved their friendly little island with, with its beautiful trees, water, and sand. The islanders had a special tradition of trading warm fuzzies with each other. Warm fuzzies were like little balls of pure love that made everyone feel good all over. People would offer fuzzies freely, and if you needed one, all you had to do was ask. Even people you didn't know would reach into your pockets and pull out a warm fuzzy and just give it to you. Even warm, even, every warm fuzzy was like a big hug from a friend, and there were always plenty of warm fuzzies to go around. Everyone felt safe and loved, and they all helped each other to feel safe, safe, safe and loved. But one day, a grouchy, grumbly, mumbly tourist came to visit the island. He didn't understand what everyone was doing, but he was sure he didn't like it. He kept cold pricklies in his pocket, and his warm and warm fuzzies didn't make any sense to him. So he decided that he would tell a lie to the islanders to convince them to stop with all that warm fuzzy business. The grouchy tourist told the islanders that their warm fuzzies were the most precious things in the world. He told them that instead of sharing them, they should be keeping them. What if the world's supply of, fuzzy, of warm fuzzies ran out? What would they do then? All of a sudden, the islanders began worrying and acting selfishly, keeping their warm fuzzies to themselves. And a funny thing happened. When people stopped sharing their war warm fuzzies, people stopped receiving warm fuzzies. Instead of everyone feeling warm and fuzzy inside, they started to feel cold and prickly inside. This made everyone kind of sad. Everyone for, except for that grouchy tourist, that is. Thank goodness something nice happened next. You see, one of the islanders had left for college. She came home to visit and brought her warm fuzzies with her. When she arrived home from college, when she arrived home, she started giving warm fuzzies to everyone she saw. The islanders started to realize what they were missing, and they had made a mistake. Holding on to their warm fuzzies didn't make them happier. It made them miserable. They figured out that giving their warm fuzzies away not only made their friends happy, it made them happy too. The good news is that we can be just like those islanders. We can give warm fuzzies like these cute little pom-poms, but we can also give warm fuzzies that are sparkly, little, fluffy, imaginary balls of happy. You see, when we offer a kind word or help someone to feel better, that is the best kind of warm fuzzy there is. We hope you enjoy our gifts.